Good day everyone. I have posted answer key for the weekly mock test 1. You can check it out. Today, we are going to deal with one of the major writer, Italo Calvino, 1923-1985. He was an Italian journalist, short story writer and also a novelist. Now, let's see some of his works. Our Ancestors It belongs to the Heraldic Trilogy. It consists of The Cloven Viscount, 1952 The Baron in the Trees, 1957 The Non-Existent Knight, 1959 Let's see about The Cloven Viscount, 1952 it is a fantasy novel. It was first published in 1952 by Inati, an Italian book publisher, and in English in 1962, by William Collins, with a translation by Archibald Calhoun. Next, The Baron in the Trees, 1957. It was described as a philosophical fiction and a metaphor for independence. It tells the adventures of a boy, who climbs up a tree to spend the rest of his life, inhabiting an arboreal kingdom. Calvino published a new version of the novel in 1959. Next, The Non-Existent Night, 1959. It is an allegorical fantasy novel. It was first published in Italian, in 1959, and in English translation in 1962. The tale explores questions of identity, integration with society, and virtue, through the adventures of Agilulf, a medieval knight, who exemplifies chivalry, piety, and faithfulness but exists only as an empty suit of armor. Other stories in the book diverge to a greater or lesser degree from this scientific theme. The final story in the collection is a postmodern literature of Alexander Dumas, The Count of Monte Cristo, an adventure novel by French author Alexander Dumas. His another work is Invisible Cities, 1972. The book explores imagination, and the imaginable, through the descriptions of cities, by an explorer, Marco Polo. The book is framed as, a conversation between the elderly and busy emperor, Kublai Khan. He constantly has merchants coming, to describe the state of his expanding the vast empire. The majority of the book consists of brief prose poems, describing 55 fictitious cities, that are narrated by Polo. Many of which can be read as parables or meditations on culture, language, time, memory, death, or the general nature of human experience. His another notable work is, If on a Winter's Night a Traveler, 1979. It is the postmodernist narrative, in the form of a frame story. It is about the reader trying to read a book, called, If on a Winter's Night a Traveler. Each chapter is divided into two sections. The first section of each chapter is in second person. It describes the process the reader, goes through to attempt to read the next chapter of the book he or she is reading. The second half, is the first part of a new book, that the reader finds. The second half, is always about something different, from the previous ones. The book was published in an English translation, by William Weaver in 1981. His another work is, Six Memos for the Next Millennium, 1988. 
It is a book based on a series of lectures written by Italo Calvino, for the Charles Eliot Norton Lectures, at Harvard. But never delivered as Calvino died before leaving Italy. The lectures were originally written in Italian and translated by Patrick Kriak. The lectures were to be given in the fall of 1985, and Memos was published in 1988. The Memos are lectures, on the values of literature, that Calvino felt were important for the coming millennium. At the time of his death, Calvino had finished all but the last lecture. The values, which Calvino highlights are, lightness, quickness, exactitude, visibility, multiplicity. All that is known of the sixth lecture, is that it was to be on consistency. Next, we are going to see some of his short stories. Cosmic Comics, 1965. It is a collection of 12 short stories. It was first published in Italian in 1965 and in English in 1968. The stories were originally published between 1964 and 1965 in the Italian periodicals Il Caffè and Il Giorno. Each story takes a scientific fact and builds an imaginative story around it. An always extant being called QFWFQ narrates all of the stories, except two stories, each of which is a memory of an event in the history of the universe. The first U.S. edition was translated by William Weaver. It won the National Book Award in the translation category. Next work is T0, 1967. It is a collection of short stories. The title story is based on a particularly uncertain moment in the life of a lion hunter. QFWFQ narrates the first set of stories in the collection, each of which takes a scientific fact and builds a story around it. The book was also published in English, with the title, Time, and the Hunter in 1970. All of the stories in T0, together with those from Cosmic Comics and other sources, are now available in a single volume collection, The Complete Cosmic Comics. That's it for today. Hope the content was useful. If so, remember to like, share, as well as subscribe to my channel. Meet you all in my next video. Till then, keep learning and growing. Let's grow together. Thank you.